have over 130 million people in our workforce who go home every day feeling they work for a company that doesn't care about them. That is seven out of eight people in the workforce. Our goal is to create an environment where everybody matters. Unfortunately, we live in a world of capitalism where we see people as objects for our success. We have the power in this room, in this country, to solve this tomorrow. We just need to engage our heads uh, and our hearts in a leadership process that validates the worth of every individual, where everybody in this country matters. What we have come to realize is that our responsibility is to create an environment, whether you're in the military or in the industrial area or in government or in education, an environment where people can discover their gifts, develop their gifts, share their gifts, and extremely important, be recognized and appreciated for doing so, which creates an opportunity for them to go home each night to their families, whatever that family situation is, and have a more meaningful life, a life of purpose where they feel valued and where they get the chance to be what they were brought on this earth to be. We as leaders, when we allow somebody to walk in our organization, we have an obligation as stewards of that life to continue to allow that life to be everything they were meant to be that we possibly can towards our common vision. We can have a dramatic impact on this world if we accept the responsibility for that life that joined our organization and shared our gifts. Now, this gentleman had never met before. He was called into this executive meeting, so he had no time to prepare his thoughts, so he told me the profound truth. His answer was, I'm talking to my wife more. He said, you know what it's like to be a part of an organization where you're going every day, you're told what to do, people don't ask you what you think, you get 10 things right, and you don't hear a word. And you get one thing wrong, and you never hear the end of it. Do you know what it feels like to go home at night from that environment? He said, you don't feel very good about yourself. And when you don't feel very good about yourself, you're not very nice to your wife. He said, since we've embraced this people-centric leadership, since we've embraced the idea of continuous improvement where I have a chance to make my role better, to contribute my gifts, for people ask me what I think, for me to contribute to making things better. Since we've done that, I go home feeling valued and better about myself. And when I go home feeling better about myself, I find I'm nicer to my wife. And believe it or not, when I'm nicer to my wife, she talks to me. <laughs> what hit me suddenly was that the biggest number that I was going to look for, the biggest measurable, was the reduction in the divorce rate of our employees. Now, I want to connect one final dot. I was hiking in the mountains with my 40-year-old daughter, who has three children, and a lady named Beverly. So Jennifer and Beverly and I were hiking with a group of people in the mountains, and I explained to my daughter that Beverly had a TV show in Dallas on family counseling and family issues. So my daughter asked her what you would ask her, any of you with a family. I said, Beverly, what's the most important thing in raising good kids? Beverly thought a minute, and she said, a good marriage. She said, other things are important, but the most important thing in raising good kids is for them to see a loving relationship that's the foundation for their life. So that was the final dot. I realized that if, if organizations would embrace the responsibility to send people home with a sense of fulfillment, a sense that what they do matters, they will be better husbands, better wives. They will have a better chance of dealing with the issues of marriage, of raising a family and getting along in this world if they feel good about themselves and they end up with a better relationship. So their children will grow up seeing loving relationships and many of the issues we face in this country will dissipate because we will have organizations that truly care about the impact they make on the lives of the people that join them.